Well, good afternoon. Um, this is David Crandall from School of Photographers of America, uh, having a great interview with one of our new business partners, Waldo Photos. Uh, and so I want to introduce you to Rodney Rice uh, from Waldo Photos. Rodney actually was able to fly out to Houston and join us uh, at our leadership summit uh, this past December, uh, show his technology, new technology to a lot of our governing board and executive board members who he's already in good conversations with. And so Rodney, uh, many of you that have ever gone on to uh, Google and uh, uh, just a search engine to look for, you know, whether it's an electrician or an HVAC company or a plumber, you've heard of something called Home Advisor. Well, Rodney co-founded that company. And, and so uh, you're, you're being introduced to a very smart man. And uh, so I'm going to just take this and just introduce the school of photography industry to uh, uh, Rodney and Waldo Photos by just asking a couple of questions to you, Rodney. So uh, Rodney, you know, I'm kind of curious, you know, you built Home Advisor. Uh, what on earth made you get into school photography and building something for the school photography industry? Uh, great to be with you, David. Thanks a lot for having me. Uh, great question. Um, well, for better or worse, uh, I'm cursed with um, walking the planet every day and and just seeing things that that are inefficient. And then um, immediately where my mind goes is how can technology solve the problem? And so, as you mentioned, that was the case with Home Advisor uh, back in 1999. I was a young first time homeowner. I was extremely frustrated with trying to figure out how to take care of an 80 year old house. And um, yeah, that turned into, like you said, one of the largest marketplaces online, uh, marrying up a couple hundred thousand small businesses with, I think, 50, 60 million homeowners at this point. And uh, when I when I sold that business and um, was looking um, well, I tried to retire, but that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work out the way my brain works. And uh, I was a father of three and just very frustrated with, with the whole photo process. And when I looked around, nobody was moving the puck down the ice. Um, I just didn't see any technological advancement um, as I would have suspected would have occurred. And so um, I decided to jump in um, and help solve the problem. And so, um, yeah, just out of really personal frustration and seeing an ability, I'm particularly attracted, as you can tell from both of these businesses to, uh, in particular marketplaces mm -hmm. where, where both sides can win. Um, I don't, I don't like to get up every day and use technology, um, unless, unless all the people involved can win. And so what I saw with photography was photographers that were just facing uh waking up to moore's law every day and just facing the you know the struggles of increasingly cheaper equipment and everybody thinking that that, that they can be a professional photographer and uh but homeowners on our consumers and parents on the other side like myself who had kids involved in school and sports and all these activities with just a ton of friction in getting those photos that i desperately wanted of my kids and uh i i felt like we could definitely solve the problem combining ai with location awareness and cloud and, and sort of there's an app for that mentality. Uh, and that's what we built. So for special events, you didn't enjoy calling through like 2000 images to find your kids. <laughs> what, what you, there's, there's an issue there. Like what do you, I'm joking. <laughs> exactly. um, so, so walk me through Waldo. Like how does Waldo help uh, the, our industry school of photography? Right. So. Right. 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 Great question. So, we, we've just reimagined the whole workflow and the whole process and, and delivered what I think for the first time is state of the art, elegant, great UX into, um, you know, what has traditionally been a pretty cottage industry. Uh, obviously based on my background, I was fortunate enough to have the ability to do this right with the right resources. And so, um, what, what it, what Waldo does is it, um, completely simplifies the operations. It reduces the operational complexity and the amount of labor that it takes to shoot a picture day, for example. Uh, and one of the main reasons for that is it, it blows up the roster. Um, you, do, you don't need a roster. You don't need to hand tag. All you need to do is shoot and upload to the Waldo cloud. And Waldo picks it up from there, delivers the right proof to the right, importantly, mobile device of the mom or dad who may have an interest in that proof. 
and then processes that order and in the case of prints drop ships them to the door so it, it it'll yeah we're in a really tough labor market right now um waldo uh, will allow does allow and will allow anybody that partners with us the ability to scale a lot more easily because frankly you just need a lot more less people involved um, you need somebody really passionate about taking great photos you don't need somebody with a ton of operational rigor um, historically this has been a really hard business and i think that's why you've seen uh, some companies uh, dominate and, and scale up because they figured out that operational rigor. But let's face it, like all of us aren't, you know, the next Jack Welch. Like, we're not, you know, we're not, we may, maybe we love photography, but we're not, we don't have a COO mindset. Right. Uh, and so Waldo has just streamlined and made that dramatically simpler. So I can imagine the technology you've, uh, um, it's not, and I apologize, you told me this once, uh, it's not Facebook, face blocker. Um, walk me through that. Is that patented? What does that look like for, for Waldo? Sure, sure. So face blocker is really important and we were um, really excited to, to get it, to get a patent on it. Um, but it's a key piece of copyright protection. All photographers know that their consumers are on their phones now. Like that, that's where your consumer is. Your consumer lives on their phone. But every photographer over the last 15 years or so has been pretty edgy about delivering their photos to a mobile device because even a 65, 70 year old iPhone toting grandma on us had a screenshot. Mm -hmm. So um, when we so when we talked to our photography partners as we were building out the, the technology, uh, we came up with a pretty clever invention, which is uh, we know where the photo, we know where the face in the photos are. That, that's our fundamental business. Waldo, to take a step back is a mobile first AI powered and that's facial recognition and numbered Jersey recognition for action and for sports, but it's a facial recognition powered, uh, object, rec object recognition powered, uh, mobile first approach to delivering and selling photos. Um, so what we do is we, we get the right proof onto the right mobile device using the facial recognition, which takes out all of that uh, operational um, horsepower that I talked about. And then once we deliver it to the phone, what we do is we put Waldo, the, if you've ever seen the logo, we put it over the face in question of the prospective purchaser. But when they tap their phone, Waldo goes away so they can clearly evaluate the quality of the image with respect to the face, but the rest of the photo blurs out. So I refer to it as reciprocal obfuscation where in no single frame can you um, screenshot the image, plain and simple. Um, it's, it's just said you know, two big words that I could never, hear. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to digress, but well, like, <laughs> everything, but the face is blurry and yeah. then face is blocked, plain that's, simple. That's so, my Southern yeah, language. Yeah. So yeah. it's just, it, it, you know, as with most inventions, it seems simple once you've done it, but you know, yeah. variable wiper blades <laughs> seem simple to us now, but they weren't. True. Sure. Yeah. True. Well, um, so when you start thinking, uh, about, um, AI and, and student data privacy and, and even, you know, the SMS laws and everything that's out there. Walk me through the security and um, the safety and like how, you know, a school of photography company looks at this and goes, dude, this is awesome. How am I going to implement this in schools? Like walk me through that. Yeah. What's super interesting about it is, um, you know, technology often creates a problem and then it comes around and then it comes around and solves a problem. Um, what Waldo is doing is for, for, for schools that adopt the platform for their candid photography, just setting aside the, the professional portraits for a second, um, it's dramatically increasing their security. So um, what we've done is we've built out a system that we call Do Not Publish, where we uh, help every school find every image that has uh, one of their children who's protected, who's not supposed to be in the yearbook, who's not supposed to be on social media, who's not supposed to be on the website. This is a huge liability for schools that they carry every day because with the explosion and in, in, uh, with everybody having a camera in their pocket and with the explosion of social media, you know, you, you got the sixth grade teacher with her rogue Instagram account posting photos. Those aren't clear and do not publish. Right. So what is that doing for the district? It's creating massive liability. So I, I would say to all you know, and, and, and frankly, school photographers can play a big role here in educating the schools about their liability and tools to solve it. And in turn, it will help the school photographers sell a lot more images. And I'll explain how that works. So um, 
the what we do with with do not publish like i said is every image every candid image on a school's campus goes through the system and it has to clear uh the do not publish list and make sure there's not somebody in there who's sensitive um what that obviously does is it create it, it puts a reference image of every student into the system when the school photographer rolls around for portrait day they can link their gallery to the school's candid gallery and now they have the ability to market every image down to the mobile device but it was opt-in the parents are opting in they're choosing because they want those candid images right. so they're choosing to provide a headshot of their kid provide their mobile number 100 percent opt-in system that is now moving your school photography business beyond the haphazardness of email, which is this increasingly spam medium, and getting you onto the deck of the phone into the texting app of mom or dad. Um, that is how we're increasing a lot of visibility for our partners, and we're seeing their conversions go up dramatically. Um, on the security side, you know, photographers have had a horrible choice in the past, right? It's either really lock down my images and make it make their it create a lot of friction for people getting to them i e you know have a really solid password approach or just have an open gallery on one of these historical uh, uh web gallery e-commerce mediums right well and this is another reason why i love the world of business is it's pretty rare that you can increase security and improve commerce and that's but that's exactly what we've done Everything on our system is opt-in. Everything on our system is mobile phone pen authenticated. So when a, when a mom or dad joins the system, they provide their mobile number, they retrieve a pin code like they're logging in at their bank. So we know that they are in fact who they say they are and they control that device. And now we're able to deliver just their photos to them. So for example, we just did Miss America a few weeks ago. We Waldified Miss America. Um, we Waldified the top 40, 50 US gym, uh, the gym, national gymnastics meets. These are highly sensitive images. You can imagine a lot of people would like to go look at those images who don't have any business looking at those images. Right. And the reason why those photographers and organizations have flocked to the Waldo platform is because it's more secure. We're delivering the images that have value and are appropriate to deliver to a particular person without this shotgun approach where they're just bruising the whole gallery. Um, looking at images, frankly, it's just inappropriate. I mean, we're talking about minors and, you know, in almost every one of these cases, uh, not in the case of Miss America itself, but right. we also did, you know, we did, you know, the junior as well. And those are minors and, and all the USGA gymnastics and all that's all those are minors right. and all these K through 12 environments we're talking about are hundred percent minors. Right. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty rare that, like I said, you can improve commerce by increasing security, but that's what we've done. And I think that's puts every photographer in a great position. What it also does is it deepens the relationship that the school photographer has with the school. One of the things that I observed five or six days, five or six years ago when I was looking at this from as an outsider was I was looking at, well, this is really weird. These, these photographers, they show up like three days a year and then they leave and they come back a year later. Like, what, what is that relationship like? How secure is that relationship? And I thought, you know, what they need to deliver is they need to deliver a comprehensive SaaS software platform to help the school manage, like I said, their own candid content on a daily basis from the prom, the homecoming, the pep rally, whatever. And in doing that, they're building a stickier relationship. And we're seeing some of the most savvy people, frankly, a few of the companies on your board um, are realizing that if they promote this software in, that's gonna be a very sticky relationship mm -hmm. because now the school and the, and the families are getting a lot of benefit and um, yeah, just, it makes them a lot less subject to churn. And so in layman's terms, I'm gonna go back, not that you didn't, but I wanna make sure I understand. So sure. if I'm watching this, uh, the, the people may have the same questions. So hey, we're not replacing your online shopping cart or your online for your traditional portrait uh, fall picture days or anything. We're looking at, here's a solution to provide a, a a yearbook staff really in a secondary market, maybe a middle school market for just the candidates that their photographers are taking, the candidates that maybe the school photographer company or even outside photographers are taking. Uh, and, and so that allows them to not only organize it better, but it provides mom or dad the opportunity to be able to look at what candidates do they have on my child. Um, and I might be able to purchase them. So now there's the other caveat that there's a purchasing platform that you can integrate uh, and that's really specialized in the special event world 
uh, graduations, homecomings, all those types of things, not just candids, but formal portraits that they could partner with you on. Not, you know, could they, could a, could a company use you holistically? I'm sure. Uh, but th th it's also, this is in addition to, but could replace potentially. Is that an accurate assessment? Um, I'm not sure. Let me, let me, let me just be very sure. explicit about it. So the, the audience that obviously we're talking to today, your, your, your audience, the, the SPOA members, who are school photographers our platform is is their is their picture day platform it they can come onto our platform they can they can create whatever packages they want they can create custom okay. branded prints they can set their pricing they can set their printer we are a full one-stop shop just yeah. significantly better significantly more elegant easy to use and ai powered so we're delivering those proof, proofs down to mobile devices to purchase those packages and we're taking, like I said, we're taking everything from the point of upload off of their plate. They shoot, right. do whatever post they need to do, upload and expose to the Waldo cloud. We are their entire marketing and sales engine. We take it all the way to the, to, the, to that print package dropping on mom or dad's doorstep. But additionally, we also cover the other side of the fence, which is we can help the school mm -hmm. um, with better storage, curation, and security around their candid images, their amateur images, their yearbook team images, the ones that fill in, yeah, the the, the ones that go on social and the website that fill in the pages in the yearbook um, across all the activities. So we also have a SaaS platform for schools to address their candid needs. The two just marry up because one forms the marketing engine for the other. Right. We get all the parents on the grid, so to speak, i.e. they've um, registered with their mobile device and the headshot of their child. When picture day rolls around, they automatically get that proof texted to them. Everyone looks at their text. Everyone doesn't look at every email. If, they, if, you, if you text a parent and say, click here to see your kid's picture day <laughs> school, yeah, they're going to they're gonna click on it, right? They're going to look. And then we just made it extremely easy, like two, three taps to check out to purchase and have those prints delivered to their doorstep. Gotcha, okay. Um, how easy is it for a photographer to, um, you know, use Waldo, uh, use the move from whatever existing platform they're on or to sure. add you as an addition to their portfolio of, of software and options to, to deal with their customers? Great question. I mean, we, we've had photographers uh, reach out to us on a, a Wednesday for a Thursday or Friday shoot. And, you know, they're stood up uh, in, a, in a couple of hours and they're, and they're out to shoot. The whole point of Waldo, and, and, it, and it's hard to get your mind around when you've dealt with the archaic technologies that, that this industry has been dealing with the last 20 or so years, um, is just how elegant and simple it is to get up and running. Um, so yeah, incredibly simple. And uh, uh, we have a free trial, so you can just come in and test it in your next shoot. Um, uh, 30 day free trial. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it, I would say, you know, you can, you can do it inside of a day. If you, if you got to shoot tomorrow, uh, you could, you could set it up today. Cool. Um, if someone's interested in, in either getting a demo or having a conversation with you, uh, what should they do? How, how, how should they reach out to you? Uh, great question. Um, they can email me directly at Rodney at Waldophotos.com and I'll make sure they get taken care of. Uh, they can go to our website at Waldophotos.com, um, click in the top navigation under businesses and professional photographers. Uh, you can submit a form there uh, or start your free trial there. Um, or you can email us at um, uh, partners, partnerships at Waldophotos.com, partnerships at Waldophotos.com. Uh, any of those avenues is is fine. We'll, we'll definitely route you to the right person and get you set up and taken care of. Um, like I said, uh, easiest thing, you can go to the website and start a free trial or fill out a form to, for a demo. Um, happy to put one of our um, partnership managers uh, on a Zoom call like this and can walk you through the whole platform. So um, many, many ways to go about it, but happy to take care of anybody with interest. Awesome. Well, uh, any last uh, any last things you want to share with our group? I don't think so. Again, I just appreciate you having me. We're Absolutely. thrilled to be we're thrilled to be partnered with SPOA and um, look forward to seeing some. Everybody, I think uh, everybody's getting together in June, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're, we're going to be in Houston, so we'll yeah. look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, yeah, I look forward to seeing a bunch of people in person. Hopefully, Omicron will have gone away and uh, <laughs> we can all uh, get back to life as normal. 
it'll it'll probably be uh something else but um yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. i think we're a little farther down the alphabet you never know yeah, I, I don't i don't think this is going away anytime soon but um yeah we'll all be together and excited uh safe and looking forward to uh seeing you and all the other options out there so rodney thank you so much for your time thank you for your partnership uh and we look forward to uh working with you in the future thank you david appreciate it all right take care bud